Hi, so I'm going to demo here a .NET Obfuscator and the Obfuscator I'm using is called .NET Reactor and it's by Aziris. And what I want to show here is the situation, for example, let me bring up the code here, where you're doing encryption and decryption. And I see this a lot in a lot of companies where people actually put in the public key and private key and they compile it in their DLL and they actually distribute it to um, an application. And what happens when I compile this, so I'm going to compile this and I'm going to bring up the DLL. So the DLL where I have this public key and private key is in a project called utility.security and the utility.security DLL creates uh, this DLL here and I'm going to bring up the decompiler and the decompiler I'm using is called .NET Peak and you'll notice when I examine the DLL it actually decompiles the code and I can actually see the encrypted or the strings and the actual key here so what I want to do is actually obfuscate this and you could do this with any DLL that is actually not obfuscated so what I'm going to do here is use the obfuscation so I'm going to bring up my .NET reactor and I've pointed it to the DLL here and what it's going to do is it's going to create a folder so I'm going to choose obfuscation and screen string encryption and I'm going to click protect and you'll see it creates a folder here utility.security underscore secure and now I'm going to bring up this DLL here and show you the difference. So I'm going to clear the assembly so we don't get confused with what we're looking at. And you'll see now with this new assembly, the strings themselves are now obfuscated. In fact, the code itself is rather different. So this is a demo of a .NET obfuscator and you could see how it's beneficial here. And just to show you that it actually does work. So this is my original program. This is the original DLL. And when I run the program, all it does is encrypt this string here and then decrypt it again and writes it to the console. So I'm going to run it here and you'll see the ciphertext was my secret words, encrypted it and decrypted it to my secret words. And now I'm going to replace that DLL. With this particular DLL and I'm going to run it and you'll notice it warns me because uh, this is an evaluation version that I'm running and it encrypts it and decrypts it. So that's a demo of what you want to do to a lot of the production code you're distributing. Uh, make sure you do obfuscate your code, especially the strings within them, uh, be because these decompilers can absolutely view uh, your code and your intellectual property. And uh, I hope this helps and thank you for watching.